What if the New Jersey Devils drafted right from 2000 to 2010? Lou Lamorello has done many great things as GM of the New Jersey Devils. He helped build the Devils into a contending team and was a primary reason why they won three Stanley Cups. However, the Devils under Lou Lamorello did not draft very well. That's part of the reason why they aren't good anymore. In this episode, I will go back and fix the draft mistakes made by the New Jersey Devils in the draft. In the 2000 draft, instead of selecting David Hale 22nd overall, they should have selected Nicholas Cronwall. The Devils will still select Paul Martin. In the 2001 draft, instead of selecting Adrian Foster 28th overall, they should have selected Derek Roy. At pick 49, they should have selected Jason Pominville over Thomas Pillman. With pick 61, they should have selected Brooks Like over Victor Holmquist. In 2002, instead of selecting Anton Kedekin 51st overall, they should have selected Duncan Keith. At Pick 53, they should have selected Matt Stajan over Barry Talkson. In the 2003 draft, they still selected Zach Parisi in the first round. At pick 42, they should have selected Corey Crawford over Peter Verona. With pick 93, they should have selected Tobias Enstrom over Ivan Komatov. In the 2004 draft, they still select Travis Zajac in the first round. In the 2005 draft, instead of selecting Nicholas Bergforce 23rd overall, they should have selected TJ Oshie. At pick 38, they should have selected Justin Applicator over Jeff Frazee. With pick 84, they should have selected Nicholas Jarmo over Mark Frazier. In the 2006 draft, instead of selecting Matt Carrenti 30th overall, they should have selected Brad Marchand. At pick 58, they should have selected Cal Clutterbuck over Alexander Vasyunov. In the 2007 draft, instead of selecting Mike Hoffel 57th overall, they should have selected Alex Kalorn. In 2008, instead of selecting Matthias Tenderby 24th overall, they should have selected John Carlson. At pick 52, they should have selected Zach Smith over Braden Burlong. Devils will still select Adam Henry. In the 2009 draft, instead of selecting Jacob Josephson, 20th overall, they should have selected Kyle Palmieri. With pick 54, they should have selected Thomas Tatar over Eric Jelena. In the 2010 draft, instead of selecting John Morrell, 38th overall, they should have selected John Klingberg. New Jersey Devils still ended up drafting Zach Parisi, Travis Ajak, Paul Martin, and Adam Henrique. Due to some salary cap restrictions, some trades will need to be made. Martin Brodeur and a 5th round pick Connor Brown to the St. Louis Blues for Ben Bishop, Patrick Berglund, David Perron, and a 2nd round pick in 2012. Matt Murray. Brooks liked to the Los Angeles Kings for a second round pick in 2011, Vincent Trocek. Jason Pominville to the Washington Capitals for Matthew Perot, Carl Alsner, and a first round pick in 2012, Thomas Hurdle. Nicholas Berg for his Derek Roy and a second round pick in 2012, Damon Severson to the Atlanta Thrashers for Blake Wheeler and Brian Little. Matt Stage into the Calgary Flames for a third round pick in 2012, Shane Gosses Bear. Paul Martin to the Los Angeles Kings for Jake Muzzin and Dwight King. This is how the lineup looks like at the beginning of the 2010-2011 season. First line, Zach Parisi, Brian Little, Blake Wheeler. Second line, Brad Marchand, Travis Ajak, TJ Oshie. Third line, Alex Killorn, Patrick Berglund, David Perron. Fourth line, Justin Applicator, Matthew Perot, Cal Flutterbuck. First defensive pair is Duncan Keith and Nicholas Jarmelson. Second defensive pair is Carl Alsner and John Carlson. Third defensive pair is Toby Enstrom and Jake Muzzin. Goalies are Ben Bishop and Corey Croft. The Devils have Great young players in the system too, like Adam Henry, Kyle Palmieri, Thomas Tatar, Thomas Hurdle, Shane Gossbear, and John Klingberg. With the lineup the Devils have, they will be poised to be contenders in two to three years. Next, what if the New York Rangers drafted right from 2001 to 2011? 